It's time to take one of the most popular fall desserts and turn it into a smoothie, pumpkin pie. It tastes like dessert in a cup, and I'm gonna share with you today how I make it. First, I'm Yumna, aka Feel Good Foodie. I share wholesome, nutritious recipes that make your body feel good. I like to make a few swaps to make this pumpkin pie smoothie better for you. I'm using Greek yogurt and whey protein to make it more filling. I'm using frozen bananas to sweeten it naturally, and unsweetened almond milk to give it a little bit of creaminess without too much fat. The whipped cream topping is totally optional, but you know you want it. You need to make the smoothie this fall. So here's what you'll need. Pumpkin pie mix, whey protein, Greek yogurt, frozen bananas, and almond milk. So when you're making smoothie, it's as easy as throwing everything together in a blender. But there's a couple tricks that I like to share just to make it ultimately creamy and tasty. So one of my favorite, one of my favorite tricks is using frozen bananas. So this makes you avoid having to use ice so that it's not watered down and it just gives it a nice creamy ice cream like texture. So I have here two frozen bananas and to that I'm gonna add the Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt not only thickens it but also gives it some good protein in there as well and makes it a little bit more creamy as well. Next we'll add one cup of pumpkin pie mix. I like to use pumpkin pie mix because it already has all that flavor in there and it tastes like pie. But if you want to, you can also just use pureed pumpkin and then just add pumpkin pie spice to it. Next, I'm adding about two tablespoons of whey protein. This just makes it more filling and it gives it a little bit more texture. And also because it's vanilla protein, it gives it a little bit of hint of sweetness without adding any sugar. And finally, we're gonna add the almond milk. I like to add the almond milk class just to see how it balances with all the other ingredients so that it's not too thick and not too watery. So we're gonna use two cups of almond milk. And you can also eyeball this. You wanna make sure that the almond milk covers the other ingredients and that's when you'll know it's just the right amount. Time to give it a whirl. And my third tip for making the best smoothies is to let your blender run long enough. So I let mine run for about 55 seconds, I think is what it is. There's a smoothie button, so I cheat with this. But if you have a different kind of blender or yours is not strong enough, just let it run for a long time to make sure that nothing in there is chunky. The last thing you want is to chew on a banana while you're drinking a smoothie. All right, now we're gonna pour it out. All right, these look so good. And now I like to add a little bit of Cool Whip on top just because for presentation purposes, it makes it look so yummy. Plus it's pie, you need the whipped cream. So I'm just gonna plop some on top. And of course, a little dash of pumpkin pie seasoning. And now it's time for Vidi Matt to try this pumpkin pie smoothie. Let's see what he thinks. Awesome, he likes it. Oh, he really likes it. <laughs> All right, so glad he likes it and I hope you guys try the recipe and love it as well. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the video description below for a full written recipe and be sure to like, follow, subscribe for more healthy-ish recipes with feel-good ingredients. See you guys next time.